Okay, so today I think I want to try and move away from this area. I, I just, I want to obviously build up a little base just to get me started, but I don't really want to do that here. And the main reason is... Well, we got a weather event coming. Nice, that's a thunderstorm. The main reason is, uh, well, we got some neighbors here, and I don't really want to be taking up a huge amount of this room, but also we should probably move over towards where I'm actually planning on building. And uh, yeah, I think... What I'll probably end up doing is, because I'm actually going to build like a little western town here, I'm not actually going to build my base there. That's where the town's going to be. I'll probably build my base maybe up here somewhere or maybe down towards the river over here. I don't really know yet, but uh, yeah, I just kind of want to be over in this area. We could probably build something temporary here for today, but uh, we'll see. It is super heating right now, so I can't really leave this area. I'm actually not super... Uh, overheating right now and I think that's because we're in like this lowlands kind of area right beside the water if I left this area I guarantee I would have the uh the big flame in addition to the superheat right there but also if I go inside because we're cooking up some meat we're totally gonna get that now in a second all right well anyway one thing that I do want to do before we start doing any of that there we go we got the flame I want to actually get myself a parasaur or something that can carry the cart because I feel like that would be super handy for getting all my resources over to where I want to be because as you can see, you know, we got a decent amount of stuff here and um, I don't know. I still, I really want to use this thing. So yeah, that's what I want to try and do. We got the terror bird, of course, in the last episode. I built up a saddle for it. So maybe we can take you out for a spin. Wait, can I even, can you even carry me? Probably not. Yeah, not, not really. Maybe if I drop some stuff. You can carry me. By the way, we're not going to be taming this Parasaur. That's a terrible one. <laughs> Damn it. I thought that would be like a one-hit kill, but it was not. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's just awful. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering why I died in here, I logged in completely uh, overburdened. Not overburdened. Over... Heat stroked. There we go. Words. Um, yeah, I woke I woke up like heat stroked, so I was like, okay, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> so went ahead and just... Uh, and just ended myself using my implant. But then I actually noticed something that maybe you guys have already commented. I haven't seen any comments about this just yet. But right there in my implant, it says if we find all the Bob's Tall Tales Explorer notes, we're going to get five levels. I don't know if that also counts for extinction and uh, aberration as well. But that's pretty cool. I like that. Nice. So that means that the, uh, the max level is increased by another five. And I don't even know what it is right now in this game because we don't have all the maps. But yeah, let's... uh. Let's put the... Should I have the shovel back there? Uh, yeah, I think we'll just... We'll dump that in there. I'll only bring, like, a little bit of my arrows. Probably not even going to need all those. Uh, I'm not going to bring a water jar. Um, Yeah, we should be okay. Let's dump this back in as well. I just... Obviously, I can't carry very much stuff if I'm on the back of this guy. Um, I think we should mostly be okay then, right? Yeah, we should be okay. What What's the actual weight at right now? Oh, yeah, only 87. We're perfect. Nice. All right, let's grab the rest of that meat. Shut off that fire so it's not warm in here anymore. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go out and just look for a, a decent-ish level power sword. I don't want to tame something that's too wimpy, because if I do that, it's probably going to end up dying. Uh, I should probably... Oh, yeah, I just remembered my Jaboa. Let me go ahead and grab that real quick. There you are, little guy. So, um, guys, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It really does help out. I do appreciate it. Uh, the support of the episode has been really, really good. Um, let's keep that up, man. Let's, let's, uh, let's keep that up. It's really very motivating. Um, also, uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're doing some good stuff on here. We're, we're getting, like, decent-ish teams as we go along here. So, hopefully, we can keep that look up as well. Let me go ahead and just quickly dispatch of this guy. Uh, this guy, the terror bird. Not, uh, not super powerful. Of course, we just got a headshot there, so that doesn't really count. Um, not crazy powerful, but you know what? It's okay. It's a fast mount. We can jump. We can glide with it as well. Um, yeah, I haven't actually really used a Terra Bird in, like, a very, very long time. I don't know when the last time was. Maybe you know. I, I have no idea. Anyway, let's, uh, let's kind of, like, check around this area for the, um, the Parasaurs. Is that a dead Morellatops across the river? Yeah, I think it was, and now it's gone because the Daedons ate it. Hello, I see you. What level are you? Oh, you're a galley. Okay, I thought that was a power sword from here. I just kind of saw the shape. I didn't really, like, focus my eyes on what I was even looking at, but yeah, let's see. Um, All right, hopefully we can, we can ditch the curse of the level 10s today as well because that was ridiculous. I was, like, editing that, or, like, just watching back, and I was just like, what is happening? Why is everything level 10? It was honestly just insane. I don't know where that came from, but um, yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Also, I did remember in my edit that uh, we do have potentially a Dodic 
up in like this kind of there's another level 10 <laughs> we have a dotic up potentially over here it was here yesterday or the other day um don't know was it wasn't your baby right okay yeah i don't think so let's go ahead and just kill this guy little baby raptor can't let you grow up because you're just gonna hurt somebody here we go almost there we go nice <laughs> just awful so yeah i don't know the dotic was like around here uh don't know if it's still in this area let's see yeah i think it was like right around here i don't know if it's not here it's not here I, it doesn't really bother me too much but it would have been kind of nice to get it because it was like a level 110 baby and it was green although i don't think we can actually get the uh the claiming bonus on it anymore can we maybe it was over here i think maybe its parent was like orange or something if you're a 110 no you're not okay never mind never mind all right let's just focus on the power source then hello level 85 not very good let's just go ahead and kill you actually i should probably be killing all of the bad ones and i'll just use my crossbow a little bit because it will make it a lot quicker boom let me just chase you down now a little bit come here bro come on a little bit more hey there we go nice okay sweet um yeah don't really know if we're gonna find anything really good here today um just in general like i'm not actually like my mind isn't set on like a power sword as well can i get that oh yeah we can totally grab that still got 80 health left on it but um like an iguanodon i i would take that as well because iguanodons can pull the carts um probably some other creatures as well um yeah i don't know i gotta i gotta like figure out the full list of creatures that can actually do that because i was certain that authority dragon would be able to pull the cart but apparently it's not so that sucked <laughs> anyway let's see let me check this thing out what level are you bro uh you are level 75 okay cool not very good at all uh we do have you uh can't tell because i'm looking into the thing level 15 damn it add a zero to the end and maybe then we'll talk <laughs> that's just useless on here um i'll bring that i'm gonna drop this and the main reason is beavers don't spawn on this map so we're not gonna ever have a use for that i mean i could grind it but yeah it's it's fine i'm okay with just dropping it on the ground uh let's see mm, any any parasaurs iguanodons Honestly, an Iguanodon actually would probably be better for us anyway. Because, I don't know. Iguanodons are pretty cool. I like them. I really do. They're actually, like, a really underrated mount in the game, I would say. You know? They're, um... Like, they're decently fast. They can jump. They've got the two stance thing, so they can deal more damage. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're really, really cool. Let's see. I should also be checking out the Procoptodons as well. Because, uh... I will want one eventually. We just don't have the uh the rare mushrooms for it and i'll need to collect all of that but once we do you know i'm gonna be taming up one of those guys hello bugs on the ground i think all right let's oh i'm at a stamp no i'm not okay that was weird i tried to jump but it didn't like jump properly that was strange uh let's like flutter over in this direction <laughs> it always reminds me of yoshi like it's just the the little flutter is just great i love it maybe that's what i should name this guy maybe i should get a green one and name him that actually yeah, that would make more sense. Alrighty, uh, let me let me look over in this area for something. Where are you? Can I check your level? Level five. Okay, never mind then. You are mate boosted though. So what is your mate? Level forty-five. Okay, a little bit better. We can uh, we can talk if you add some more numbers to that as well. Uh, but you probably won't. So it is what it is. There we go. Death. That is that's what you get. Um, yeah. Let me go ahead and chase down this one as well. Let's see, do we, let me zoom out. Do we have any more creatures around to look at? Hmm, don't know. You know, I actually don't even think I've seen an Iguanodon on this map, but I do know that they spawn here because I've definitely tamed them here. So yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Maybe I have seen one. I, I don't know. I don't remember ever seeing one though. Come on. Oh, this could be risky. Direwolves are very, very powerful. There we go, we got that one. Come on, bro. Oh, dude, this may have been a mistake. I mean, like, I'll be okay. Like, I'll be able to... Can you just, like, stop running behind me? Bro! There we go. Got him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, we're not gonna have, like, an issue actually, like, killing them, but, like, they're, they're gonna leave me with some scars, and they definitely did right there. That, uh, that hurt. That hurt a lot, actually. All right, let me... Let me continue over in this direction here. 
Also, I just realized that I never actually brought berries with me, so if you do find a nice parasaur, we're uh, we're not we're not uh, gonna be able to tame it immediately. I'm gonna need to run back to base, but that shouldn't be an issue. Alrighty. Anyway, gonna keep looking around here. Maybe we'll find one in our new area potentially. Oh, look at that! Oh, terrible level. Yeah, I don't know what it is, man. They're uh, the coolest looking ones. that are always terrible levels. <laughs> it, it really sucks. It truly does. Is that? That's a little baby blue Anki. Yeah, level 20 as well. What did I just say? What did I just say? <laughs> it sucks. Well, this is basically the area that we're going to be building in. It's so cool. Obviously, that's going to be a little bit before we're actually going to build here, but I'll probably put up a sign or something to just let everybody know that, uh, you know, good old Syntax claimed this area. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll scout out a location for where we're actually going to, like, bring our stuff and move to which is probably going to end up being up there somewhere, like I said. Um, yeah, like the western town thing. I think I potentially could live in it, but, like, I don't want to, like, flood the area with a bunch of my own crap and kind of ruin the aesthetic of it, you know? Like, I'm going to need to have, like, an area to breed. I'm going to need to have, like, a little workshop. I'm going to I'm gonna need to have, like, all this stuff, and I just don't want to, um... I don't want to, like, flood the massive, uh massive area with all of that so we'll probably end up like living away from it but maybe i'll have like a train between the two points like a little station at each of them oh there's a thyla hello okay just so you know if this is a high level like we can we could probably tame it but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find muttons it's gonna have to be prime so let's see level 60 good okay <laughs> i don't think i'm even ready for a thyla yet that is uh yeah, <laughs> that's that's a pretty high tier team. Um, Thorny Dragon, hello. Cool. Looking looking kind of nice over there, actually. All right, let's see. Uh, have we got anything up here? Decently flat area up ahead here, actually. This could be the spot that we build in, maybe. Potentially, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah, this spot right here is actually kind of nice. Besides all the bones, of course. And again, uh level 15 okay good oh wait hang on a second that had a baby symbol is there actually a baby there oh no oh no 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 okay i i don't want to fight a thyla it's gonna make me bleed don't please don't make me bleed my own blood um mm, he's still chasing me can i get him stuck on something maybe might work yeah okay that kind of just stopped him a little bit it's always great the pathfinding is a lot better in this game, but like sometimes you can trick them into just not knowing how to deal with things. And it's uh that that aspect is fantastic. <laughs> there we go, we lost him. Nice. This area right here actually could be the spot. There's um yeah, it's like plenty flat here actually. Pretty good, pretty good. Alrighty, anyway, let me check down here for what I'm looking for. Parasaur maybe? Hello? Oh! They do spawn on this map. Nice. Yeah. I, uh, I think I probably haven't seen any moss chops so far. That's cool. Nice. It's good to know that they spawn on here, actually. Maybe I've already gotten some comments about it. But, uh, yeah, I was curious about that one, so that's nice to know. Uh, what is that? Oh, is that an oil node place? Uh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, actually, there's another one here. Oh, yeah, this is one of the good spots to do it at. Yeah, you can... I think there might be another. I definitely remember two, but maybe there's another. Hang on. No, there's metal there. Mm, maybe not. It might just be the two. All right. Well, that's good to know. At least we know that. Um, yeah, we can get uh, we can get a lot of oil over here. I should probably work on trying to get that stuff. Hello, Carno. Yeah, there we go. That's about right. Let me see. Can I outrun a Carno? Hmm. Yeah, I'm outrunning them. Nice. Good to know. All righty. Let's see. Got some cool looking Dodix over here. They're definitely low levels. Level 40, level 5. Cool. Oh, yeah. All sorts of bad things over here. Alrighty. Just going to continue off in this direction here. We got a white drop that we might be able to open if this Carno stops chasing. There we go. Okay. Looking looking good. Let me, I'm stuck inside of my guy. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Uh, yeah. I'll grab that. I mean, I'll grab that. Mm, probably can't carry that tent. Let's see. Just, um pop back on yeah i mean we do have a lot of meat but no we actually don't have a lot of meat it's mostly uh it's mostly prime i think i'll uh drop the tent then and we're being attacked nice there we go we got another oil spot over here as well actually sweet all right 
Let's, uh, let's see. Come on. Probably not a good area to be looking for these types of tames, to be honest. All right, let's, uh, run off in this direction. I'm also super warm right now, so we should probably get back to the green orb, and then we'll just, like, dunk into the water for a little bit and, and wait for my health to come back. Yeah, it sucks, man. Like, I know I don't have that much fortitude, but the desert is way hotter now. It was never this hot. It's kind of crazy. How hot actually is it? Um, 64 degrees. Oh, my God. No. Yeah, that is... Uh, that's really crazy. <laughs> I, I, It definitely didn't ever feel this hot in Scorched Earth on Survival Evolved. Survival Ascended is like another beast, man. It's crazy. All right, let's get back here. Maybe we can find the elusive... Uh, silica pearls that I apparently missed here um yeah let me get in here there we go we're already actually nice and uh cool I'll uh, I'll go ahead and just hello no he stole my meat give me back give me it back there we go I got 15 back from killing him and there's another one right here look he stole my magnifying glass get stupid turd that's just annoying <laughs> I have to get off my mount and grab it now how dare you all right still uh yeah i'm still good here um oh actually i dropped my water jar yeah i must have left it in the uh in the base okay let's do that and maybe get rid of all this all right we're just gonna chill here for a little bit literally because it's very warm okay yeah there apparently they are here that's that's crazy they're so hard to find like if you go into the water like like i can hardly see anything <laughs> That's that's insane. All right. Well, at least we know you can you can still get them here. That's good. Um, where you can get them, I I don't know, but you know maybe grab a whip. Yeah, things are tough right now. Stuck out in a sandstorm. <laughs> Hello, Lystro. Oh, dude. Just gotta watch out for some stuff attacking. Uh, hello over there. I see you. Can I see you from here though? I can see you in K mode. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, I think I've already looked at those ones, didn't I? Yeah, there's like two of them over there. Pretty sure I looked at those earlier. I would go kill them, but... Oh, we got another one ahead of us here. Hello. Uh, oh! 135! Wait, lo what level's the Dodic as well? Level 15, okay. Did I just see another one here as well? Yeah, there's another one right there. Level 80. Okay. Well, let's go for the, one for the 135. Um, He's kind of in like a good spot, actually. It's gonna take me a while to get over there, but once we do, you know, we can try and tame it. <laughs> Boom. Let's try and get you knocked out then, bruh. There we go. We got one. Probably not too many, I would say. Hopefully I don't mess it up. I'm gonna aim directly for the top of the head, just so as it starts its knockout animation, it might not uh, clip it again. There we go. Sweet. Nice. Alrighty. Well, there we go. Um... I'll probably just chill here for a minute because it's not like I can really move anywhere fast. But there we go. We got a 135. And they can indeed carry the carts. I've seen it in the trailer. So it better be a thing. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, let's get back to base here and um, get all this sorted out. I'll just bring you guys back once this thing's tamed up. It's not going to be like a crazy big mission. All right. Got a nice little white drop on the way. Let's check this out. Let's check out these power stories as well. Yeah, I'm too close to it again. Nice. And... Oh, whoa! For a white drop? What the hell? Okay. A white drop with a level 70... Or sorry, level 70. And a 70 armor ascended Gallimima saddle. Like that... What the hell? That's a white drop. What the hell? What? I'm so confused. That shouldn't be in there. <laughs> that's That's wild to me. How is that even possible? Damn, yeah, no. Usually I find, you know, there's like thatch structures, maybe some like uh, like a sleeping bag, maybe some spark powder, but no, it's Sanded Gallimimus saddle. Like what? It's so confusing. <laughs> okay. Did that thing have a ring on it? I don't think I noticed if it did or not. I don't think it did. Yeah, I don't think it was a boost to drop at all. So yeah, I yeah, that's very confusing. Um, I'll take it. I'll I'll totally take it. I'll probably never use it because Gallimime is too OP and I'll never be able to actually tame one. But yeah, that is, uh, that's crazy. Unfortunately, right now I'm pretty way down, so that sucks. I did check you earlier, right? I'm pretty sure you're level... Okay, no, I didn't check you at all. Cool. Thought that was like the level 25. And then this one over here is the level 80. 
All right, here we go. Are we safe? We got an oil vein as well here, actually. Nice. Let's drop those on there. We probably won't need the narco berries, but it can't hurt to just bring them with me anyway. Um, much of you drain down by. Yeah, you know what? We actually might get you tamed here. We might have you tamed in a jiffy. All right, sandstorm coming in, but power sore almost tamed, and now it is nice. All right, level one nine nine, nice. All right, come here, bro. Let me see. Take that. Take that. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. Let me uh, let me see if I can put you onto there then. Yeah. Wait, I probably should have jumped. Oh, I was already on it actually. Uh, okay. Is that does that work? Is that gonna be? Oh no, hang on, hang on. Unfollow. Can we just land directly on top. Okay. There we go. We got it on top. That's good. Uh, you stay there. <laughs> Here we go. Oh no, goodbye. <laughs> oh, that sucks. All right. Well, at least we know it works. You know while we're stationary um the the cart is really cool i love it it's a great thing like honestly it it took them way too long to add this to the game it really should have been in the game years ago because it's just i don't know it's just like a nice little uh addition you know it's kind of silly oh my god he landed directly on it it was amazing it's kind of silly looking when you're like jumping with the thyla and stuff like some creatures probably shouldn't have got it like i'm happy that the thyla got access to the cart that's fantastic but at the same time yeah, they uh, they probably shouldn't be able to jump or anything with it. Oh crap. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. We're okay. Didn't take any fall damage Um, yeah, so I don't know pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're gonna land on it. <gasps> oh, we caught him and then he fell off <laughs> That was great. Alrighty. Well, yeah, let's uh, let's get all the way over here Ooh, an equus would have been great actually Probably should be taming up one of those guys pretty soon would be super useful just in general Um, all right, let's see what happens when you go into the water with the cart this water here is not deep enough, so we can't properly test it. But I'm curious what would happen if we went into, like, deep water. Could it, like, swim with it? Probably. Like, I would think so, right? Would make sense. Oh, he got onto it. <laughs> I'm so confused. Is he, like, staying on it because he's following me? Is that why? Oh, there we go. He fell off. And uh, we're stuck or something. Oh, am I swimming? Oh, I think I was swimming, and it looks like it goes down to the bottom of the water. Okay, cool. What would happen if I went into, like, super deep water then? That's confusing. All right, well, anyway, let me see. So, I want to unload pretty much everything from this little base. We'll pick up the structures and... and oh, my God. <laughs> there, oh, oh. Can we, can we get that, like, normally? Yeah, okay, that, eh, that's good enough. It's, it is bouncing a little bit, but it's okay. Yeah, so we'll we'll pick up all this stuff anyway and um and kind of get going with the move here. We'll just like have a big dino train as we're traveling across the landscape. Uh let's pick that up and grab the rest of these guys over here. Maybe not the best thing to be doing at nighttime. It might get pretty cold, but we can put some campfires in the back of the power source. So we'll be perfectly uh content with all that um cold weather. Let's see. Um Maybe, can I make a storage chest? Uh, yeah, I probably can't fit it all onto the smithy here. That's what I was thinking. Um, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let me actually check that, the weight on my power sword. Oh, I'm inside of him. Uh, okay, so the way that it works is anything that you put, like any weight that you put back here, actually, um, it basically, you're, you're keeping two thirds of the amount of weight back here on the power sword. So yeah, that's kind of how that works. Um, we got a sandstorm right now, I think, right? Yeah, looks like it. And is it taking over this area? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, um, say if we put like 3,000 weight on the back here, the power sword is only going to weigh 2,000. So that's kind of how it works, um, which, uh, which is pretty good. But obviously, it doesn't have like crazy high stats right now. But I can put a decent amount of weight back there anyway. So maybe we'll just uh, we'll use these storage chests here. Let's just pick these guys up. And uh, ooh, I'm on the item cache there. There we go. We'll just, uh, we'll pile these on the back here as, like, a proper little, like, move. Let's see. Ooh, oh, okay. Uh, that was weird. Uh, can I try that again without glitching? Okay, yeah. Th did I do something to it? Is it all, like, glitchy and everything now? Because did I, like, book it out going into the water, maybe? There we go. Are we gonna be okay? Haven't had any issues with this thing so far. And we are indeed picking up the bed. That's going to cement the fact that I'm no longer going to be coming back here. Let's 
see. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's that's everything. So what we need to do now is we need to make our little dino train. So let's get the Morella tops. Let's actually have the power sword following the, the Morella tops. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's see. So Morella tops. Then the power sword. I didn't want it the other way around because I figured maybe the morale tops might like glitch into the cart or something like that. So at the very front, maybe we can have, yeah, maybe we can have the morale tops following the thorny dragon. Then just have like a massive chain of the dinos here. Albion, Lucky in the very front. So let's have you not following Lucky then. Let's see. Let's get you right here. Um, get the thorny dragon on follow, and then. The terror bird is following the power source. So yeah, we're all good there. Um, it is kind of getting late though. I feel like maybe should I wait till the morning? Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, we might be okay. All right, let's make our journey then. <laughs> we're starting it out. We are, we're doing this. We're leaving this area. My massive uh, little, <laughs> look at this. I got, oh my God, all those rocks are coming back immediately. Wait, 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 is my power source okay? He's kind of looks like he might be stuck. I think he might be. I think that rock actually spawned in and like trapped him, essentially. Maybe this tree also trapped you? I'm not really sure what's happening here. Wait, what? The terror bird is either inside of a rock or on the other side. There we go. Let's see, let me get you around the back here. That was silly. So you should be okay. What the hell's happening with the Morellatops here? Is he, is he stuck on this? Here we go. Come on. Hey, there we go. Nice. Okay. It looked like the rock actually trapped the power sword. I was like certain that, that actually did happen. Sweet. Alrighty. Let me continue this then. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll just kind of like head across this landscape here. Hopefully we can get to like the rough area that I want to build at. Uh, we gotta make sure we have everybody all the time as well, cause yeah, we don't wanna we don't wanna lose anybody on the way. There we go. Yeah, I think we're we're good. We have everybody here. Sweet. All right. Let me continue my way over here. They should pat fine to me. Like, I shouldn't have to wait constantly. But I am a lot faster than them. So we should uh, make, like, little bursts and then just, like, watch behind. Make sure that they're all coming. Let's do that and zoom out. Parasaur is a little bit sluggish back there. The terror bird is coming as well. Sweet. Let's just grab some stuff on the way here. Nice. Okay. Something went wrong. Eh, nope. Come on, Parasaur. I see you back there. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, what is happening? Is he getting attacked? No, he's not getting attacked. Is he? Oh, where is he going? Bro, where are you going? What? Why are you running that far around? Like, that is just silly. Here we go. Uh, neutral. Um, wait, no. Oh, no, he's, he scared him away. Okay, hang on. Uh, no, he didn't. Uh, I guess he's still kind of coming at us here. There we go. Nice. All right, let's let's go. Come on, guys. The hell is that crap? Here we go. Maybe can I just like hop onto the card on the back? It'll like bring me to it. Nope. Oop. Oh. Uh, okay. I was on it there for a sec, but then it like kicked me off. Probably ran through a rock or something. Alrighty. Well, we're making some good progress here. It's not it's not too crazy. I don't really want to have to fight things every two seconds. Can we like please like not do this? Here we go. Let me just see if they'll run with me anyway. Uh, yeah, we got everybody. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to have to fight everything. You know, we'll just uh, unless we have to, we'll just continue forward. Like this raptor, I'll probably have to kill him. Okay, how do we get around this area here? Um, there and then up, I would say. It's like we have everybody. Yeah, power source coming. Terror bird running up the back. Perfect. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, this is cool. <laughs> like, it's, uh, you know, even in Survival Evolved, like, the, it, this kind of, like, dino train usually kind of worked. I think sometimes, like, the pathfinding was a little bit dumb and, and everything. It, it's definitely improved, for sure. There's, like, some quirks with it. Like, the whole thing with the Morella Tops a couple episodes ago where, you know, we, um, we were trying to get our stuff and it just wouldn't come down to me. That kind of stuff bugs me because it's all to do with the new pathfinding system and it's just the fact that uh, it doesn't want to drop off a cliff and that kind of stuff bothers me, you know? Um, so yeah, I wish that that would be fixed. What happened? Where did you go? How are you so far back there? <laughs> are you getting attacked? 
I don't see any damage numbers, so probably not. Let's see. Oh, no, you're coming. Okay. Terror bird. Yeah, no, you're okay as well. Can you like, you know, maybe not do that? Oh, I can't even sit on the back. <laughs> if I put a chair on the back, I could probably do it. The terror bird's get hitching a ride and I can't. That is, that's cheap. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, it's quite dark right now. Uh, maybe I could make a torch. Do we have everything on the power sword to do that? Probably. We need one piece of flint. Uh, we don't have any stone on there. We don't have any wood. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's see. Do you have any in here? Maybe you should have stone and you have some wood. Nice. All right, let's make a torch. I might've already had one. I don't know. It's fine. I'll just make a new one. They're cheap. All right, let's check that onto there. Okay, torch, zero slot. Let's put that onto my belt. Nice. Okay, let's continue our little convoy here. This is cool. <laughs> Oh man, the cart really uh, seals the deal. I wish they had like the proper, um, the kind of like, you know, the, the thing that you would see in like old photos and movies and stuff where it's like for the wagon and it would have like kind of like a, a fabric-y thing kind of like going around the top. I don't know. I wish we had something like that, but um, we don't. <laughs> that would be really cool for the cart, just for aesthetics and everything. All right, so we're roughly getting kind of close to this area here. We should be here very, very soon. If the terror bird can catch up, that would be great. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's see. Let's run down here and then around maybe. Got a Lymantria. Can I kill you? Maybe. It might happen. There we go. Nice. Lots and lots of silk. Sweet. All right. Unfortunately, now we are very uh, slowed down, but that's okay. Boom. Nice. Lots of raptors here in the nighttime. What's happening back there? What, uh, what are we doing, huh? Did you get stuck? Yep. Yeah. Can you seriously not move around that? I guess not. Oh, now we're being attacked back here. All right, I'll hop on the Relatops in a sec. I thought this rock would have broken it a little bit quicker, but it's not. One sec. There we go. Uh, here we go. We'll just do one of these. Nope, didn't hit you at all. One, two, three, come on. There we go, nice, we got it. All right, we'll just let you uh, run forward. Let me actually do that, because you're gonna like bring me to it. <laughs> no card on you at all, but yet you could bring me to my guys. Super handy. All right, got some terror birds and some baby terror birds. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so let me see. Where did I want to build then? Probably up top then. Unless, I don't know. Maybe I could just build a little, like, a little house here for the moment. It would suit for the moment because, you know, I'm not going to build, like, a gigantic base or anything, you know. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that. I'll just, like, build right beside here. That way, you know, people know that I'm living here, but also, you know, we'll, uh, we'll be able to move it eventually. I won't be build anything, like, permanent. Let's just take care of these Daedons. Come on. Here we go. Is my Jerboa helping? It sounded like it. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap, crap, crap. Uh, really? Stupid little Microraptor. He's low on health, I can see. Uh, maybe should I? Oh, God damn it! I'll just put everybody into neutral then. I didn't want to have to do that. Oh, there's another one as well. Okay, that's cool. I love that. Really? Everybody's just gone everywhere now. <laughs> this is what I actively try to avoid happening. Come on. There's no room for you in my little western town. Oh, crap. Uh, boomerang? Nope, he stole my stone. <laughs> I knocked him out, though. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna kill you with a pickaxe. Here we go. Just gonna cave his little cranium in. Here we go. He's almost dead. There was more efficient ways to kill him, I know. <laughs> Nice. Uh, Lucky, where the hell did you go? Everybody's following something. Oh, Lucky's over there. Okay, cool. Nice. Good to know. Let me grab this. And... Oh, I can hear some stuff. Ooh, okay. Um, Probably grab all those. I don't know if I need a lance. I'll keep it because we can grind it eventually. Those, those usually give some decent resources, right? I think they do. 
Oh, what's happening? No, now the Parser Ethereum's gonna get hit. No, it didn't. Okay, that was good. Somehow. I don't know how the hell that happened or didn't happen more so. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> Let me get everybody over here. So yeah, this is like roughly the area that I'm gonna be building in. Um, uh, obviously, like I said before, you know, with all the rocks and everything gone, like this area looks a lot nicer. So yeah, should be great. Anyway, for the moment, let's just build a temporary little shack over here. Um, we'll probably, I don't know, we'll probably have to build it out of like some wood right now. Maybe we can do it out of Adobe. It might be possible. We might have the technology. Let's see, uh, I'll take the arrows and then I actually should probably keep some of that meat because we'll eventually need that. All right, let's see, boom. Okay, we'll just get rid of those berries. All right, um, and then more melee, sweet. So, let's see. Can we work on the adobe? I think we do need our smithy down for that, but we can put all that stuff onto the back of the power store. Uh, yeah, more fortitude. Let's do that. So, let's see. Um, I can pretty much just, like, have them stop following each other now. Because, like, we're in the area. We'll just whistle like that. And then, uh, where's my smithy? Do you have it? Or does the Morelotops have it? See, that's the issue. I have all these things with me now. There we go. But, um, I don't exactly know where everything actually is. Maybe I'll just put down a foundation. It would be a little bit more reliable than having to deal with the Parasaur and its, uh, shenanigans. So, yeah, we'll just put this down right here. Cool. Uh, so Smithy, I'm gonna take away the snapping. We'll just put that, like, on the edge. And then we have our, uh, mortar and pestle. Put that right over there. And then a bed. Put that right there. Perfect. It's the perfect little base. Damn, I could do a tutorial for this if you guys want as well. Just let me know, because um, I know this is pretty high-level stuff, you know. This is pretty crazy, so let me know. I can I can do a tutorial for it. It might be like a couple hours long, but we'll see. Um, okay, Adobe. Adobe Structures. Where's the foundation? Did I miss it already? Where's the Adobe Foundation? Wait, do you, where do you craft that? Uh, I guess you don't. Do you craft that in your inventory? Let's see. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. Hmm, that sucks. That means I can't, like, uh, I can't queue up a bunch of things to craft all at once, so, yeah, that definitely sucks. All right, so we're gonna have to work on a little bit of clay first. Um, when I say a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. There's gonna need to be a ton of clay production here. So, it's good, it's a good thing that we have, like, a lot of cactus around here, so, let me see. Um, I should probably maybe make some storage boxes, so, let's see. How much weight do you have on you? Uh, oh yeah, we also have a smithy on you as well. I could have actually used you instead. Let's see. Let's just grab all this. Um, we're eventually going to need a dodec for sure. Might get away without it for the moment. We'll see. Let's dump this onto there. And I'm super over encumber batched. Let's put all this stuff onto you as well, bro. Enjoy. Um, yeah, we'll just put everything onto you because that's fine. Alrighty. So, let's see. Let me focus on taking out some trees. So... Unfortunately, um, I was wrong when it came to the Thorny Dragon. I believed that they gathered wood super efficiently on this map, but apparently they can only gather it from the actual dead trees, not the cactus trees. That sucks. Um, so yeah, that, that really is, uh, that's not great. But you know what? It's, it's going to be efficient enough against these trees here. Obviously, when I make a chainsaw, it's a different story, but, you know, I'm not at that stage right now. I don't even have a fabricator yet, but totally going to get one of those guys pretty soon. But, um, yeah, we'll just hit all these trees for the moment and just gather up a little bit of wood and then maybe some cactus afterwards with our, uh, our other dude, the Morella Tops. I can see a Microraptor over there. Ah, <sighs> bro. No! Go away. Passive. I want everybody on passive. I don't want them running all over the place. Here we go. Nice. Got him. Yeah, there's quite a few dead trees over here. I would say maybe the Thorny Dragon wasn't the best option, you know. Uh, oh, that... Oh, crap. That Megatherium is uh, rage boosted. Yeah, he's only a level 10. I think we've seen him before. Um, yeah, I feel like we've seen him in, like, the last episode. So let me just continue getting all this stuff for the moment, at least. Gotta say, the desert at nighttime is, uh, it's very nice. Very beautiful. Like, the sky is absolutely beautiful here. Damn. Really, really cool. 
We've got a little bit of wood, at least for the moment. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a chainsaw soon. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I, I don't regret taming this guy. He's going to be handy for sure, uh, especially with the mobile smithy. But, um, yeah, Morella Tops, we need you now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wanted to make some storage chests. Let's do that first. What's attacking? What's Who's getting hit? Bugs? Okay. Here we go. Maybe this will be possible. There we go. Okay, we got him eventually. Uh, I think there was another one around there, was there? Maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Lots of wood, lots of fiber, lots of other stuff. We'll just make a bunch of storage chests. Um... Here we go. Where are they? Here we go. Make like four of those. That should be good. I think what I'll do is I'll put this guy onto neutral and he'll just like deal with any threats around the place. All right. We got some storage chests down. Now I just need to unload the Morella tops onto pretty much all those things there. So now we need uh, some cactus. So yeah, we'll just maybe aim for this massive pile of them right here. Yeah, he's probably not the most efficient. I think kangaroos are pretty efficient at gathering the cactus actually. At least they're super fast to get around anyway, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll just gather up with this guy anyway. Getting a decent amount here. And tons of thatch. We gotta make sure to keep that. Alright, come on. Nice. Oh, and also, yeah, yeah, we can actually hit these uh, little yucca trees here for the wood as well, actually. Let's do that. Boom. And... Come on. Okay, well, we had a little bit of sand there. Not a crazy amount. We're totally going to need a dodic, like, immediately. So, there we go. We got 60 crafting. That should give me 120 in total. And obviously, you know, we can use our hatchet a little bit here. Um, but it's not going to be crazy efficient. So, definitely need to get a dodic soon. Hmm. Yeah. Can I hear some bugs? Where are they? Is it a dead one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes the dead bugs make noise. Yeah, I think it's alive, but it's not. <laughs> Ooh, there is a yellow drop over there, actually. I should probably go for that. Yeah, we, we definitely need that. Eh, let me get through all this. Um, yeah, we'll run over on the direwolf, I would say. It's probably the fastest way to get there. Just dump the rest of that onto here. It's still there. Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, lucky. Let's do it. You and me. You good? Yeah, you're good. All right. Let's get over here. Try and get to this yellow drop. Where is it? Down by the river, maybe? I think so. Okay, come on. Yeah, I see it. Oh, hopefully the health on it's still good. No, wait, wait, is it breaking? Okay, it like lit up more and that scared me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's only got like 20 health on it. We need to, we need to move quick here. We just run right through. Hopefully nothing chases me too closely. Come on. Let's get over here. Oh, crap. Oh, God damn it. I'm inside of my Dara Wolf now. Let me access you. No, let me access you. There we go. Got it. I don't know what it is. I just got some stuff. Oh, my God. This hurts. Oh. And there we go. You know what? You guys hurt me, so now I'm going to kill your baby. <laughs> That's what you get. That is exactly what you get. Karma. Uh, what do we get? Ooh. Speaking of Dodix. Uh, Megalosaurus. They do spawn here. Terror Bird. Hey, okay. That's pretty good. I like that. Nice. We uh we got some pretty useful stuff there, actually. Nice. Let's go ahead and just kill this guy before he follows me home. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, we do need to keep an eye out for more drops like that in future. Let's just uh, run through here. We should be able to avoid those guys. They're kind of busy eating something. Can we get through? Yes. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. These guys are totally going to follow me home. Oh, my God. There's so many things. Ooh. Oh my god, there's there's tons of them. <laughs> there's babies as well. And that's a mutated level 27 baby. Gonna leave it though. Is that bug gonna follow me? Probably. Alright, let's deal with them. Nice. And we'll harvest you guys as well. Maybe try and grab that chitin. Could be handy. Although for the moment, like, I have tons of keratin. Well, at least I did. I turned it all into, um, into semantic paste before we left. Uh, just before I started recording the video. But yeah, I had like tons of keratin. Probably from all the thorny dragon kills, I would say. Because obviously we've been killing a lot of them. I'm also hungry. Now, eating raw meat's definitely not advisable, but you can do it. Um, I might actually eat a couple more pieces there. There we go. Okay, cool. Nice. Um, yeah, it filled me up a little bit. Nice. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely need to uh, to make some cooked meat here now in a few minutes, though. 
But yeah, there's like a lot of things to do, obviously. You know, moving to like a new little area like this. It's very dangerous around here, at least at the moment. Um, so we're definitely going to need to work on like a little compound. Um, but yeah, let's uh, just grab some more of this stuff. Get some more of that crafting and then I'll work on some food. All right, campfire. Boom. Uh, oops, thought I accessed it. There we go. And then we need some uh, wood in there. Boom. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, do we have another stack? Uh, oh, yeah, you've got some. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we got a little bit of food coming. Uh, definitely need... Oh, my God. You scared the crap out of me. Definitely need to uh, be collecting more sand here, though. Yeah, level 35. Not good. Not good at all. Could actually just eat some cactus, I know, to fill up with my food, but it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll just make some meat anyway. And get some healing going. I'm slightly hurt. Not like a crazy amount. Just like a tiny little bit. So, yeah, let me get that all sorted then. Number seven. And eat those. Nice. Okay. Good amount of clay so far. Nice. So, can we start making some foundations here then? Maybe just like enough to make like a tiny little box or something? I don't know. What else do we need? Um, What does the adobe actually cost? Uh, here it is. So they usually cost thatch, fiber, and wood. Nice. So we'll just grab some of that. Do we have any fiber on here? Yeah, a little bit. And there we go. Okay. So what could we make then? Let's just make one foundation for the moment. Uh, and then four walls. And we can we make a ceiling? We are slightly short of something. And I would be willing to hedge a bet that it's probably clay. <laughs> That's going to be, like, the main thing. It, we're going to have to have, like, crazy production of this stuff as we're going forward here, you know? It's going to be so important. Did I make all of that already? Oh, wow, I did. Sweet. All right. Uh, Sailing. Boom. Nice. All righty. Well, that's enough for a little shack. We also need a door, actually, as well. Uh, Where's where's the normal, like, door? Um, hmm. Adobe door is... No, that's not it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're too short. Oh, my God. Literally, like, one piece of sand, and then we'll have that. There we go. We have it right now, but I'm going to probably just break the rest of this rock anyway. All right. There's the door. Okay. Let's get this down just separately. Maybe, like, over here or something. Lower it down a little bit. Yeah, yeah that's good. Nice. Um, They look a little bit different, actually, now. Yeah, definitely a little bit different. I haven't actually checked out the new Adobe, like, look, um, but... Uh... I feel like... Yeah, that looks a lot different, doesn't it? I think it does. It's been a long time. I feel like, yeah, they looked way different before. 100%. Alright, let's, uh, let's go with, like, a little double doorway here. This is just a tiny little shack for me to, like, stay alive. Um, <laughs> you know... Stay alive in terms of heat and also in terms of things potentially coming at me. So, yeah, there we go. Nice. Tiny little adobe hut. Alrighty. Well, you know what, guys? I think we're probably going to end off the episode here. We got a lot of work to do here, but obviously we're going to need a dodic for all of that. So, we're probably going to maybe get one of those in the next episode um, and, uh, and try and sort out all that stuff for us. But, yeah. Definitely some really good progress so far. Uh, super happy with that. And uh, now I have a nice little adobe place to stay cool where you cannot even see me. There we go. If you have enjoyed this one, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.